Hi guys, how's it going today? I'm Robert from Dolphin Street. Today let's look at some cool Jimi Hendrix style ideas. If you listen to the song The Wind Cries Mary, you'll hear him play something like this. And uh, that's kind of a typical style that Jimi Hendrix uh, played a lot and maybe he developed it from scratch, I'm not sure, but it's, some t it's a style of playing that a lot of us uh, connect with, um, with Jimi Hendrix. And basically what we're doing there is we're just playing the E major scale where in, in, uh, in Jimi's case he actually tuned down his guitar to E flat. But if you like to play it the way he did, you can uh, you can skip tuning down. You can just play it the normal way, which would be in for us to play just like this in the key of E. And we're playing a melody. If I played it without using two strings, I should say that that the way that Jimmy often played things like this was to combine more than uh, one note at a time. Sometimes two, or sometimes even three or four notes to play a little melody. And in in such manner he created a little mini chords and two note half chords and things like that so if i play this without using uh well if i played it using only one note at a time it would sound okay but a lot more boring it would sound sound something like this you know it's a nice little melody in a major scale, but if we add those other strings, as Jimmy often did, it sounds like this. A lot more classy sounding, I think. So let's take a closer look on the fretboard so I can show you how you play this idea. So we're starting up here on the 12th fret. And the two first note we're playing, that's on the B string, on the 12th fret and the 14th fret. So I'm, uh, I'm starting on the 12th fret, but do a hammer-on onto the 14th. A quick little hammer-on. But at the same time, I'm barring with my index finger so that the 12th uh, here at the 12th fret on the E string, so you get two notes at the same time. Okay, so then it sounds like this. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm using my pick to... I'm picking down on the first two notes, and then I do a hammer on with the ring finger. And then pick again, there. Okay, that's the first part. And then we have... And here I am now switching strings. So I have my index finger on the 11th fret on the G string. My middle finger is on the 12th fret on the B string. And then... and So I pick those two notes. And then I do a hammer-on with my ring finger on the G string on the 13th fret and then a pull off. And now I take my pinky on the D string on the 14th fret and play. See, so we have... So the, uh, the, the, the ring finger is doing a hammer on and pull off. And then the pinky goes there, and then the same thing again. Okay, so then we have... And then the last part is... And now we're moving finger down here onto the ninth fret on the D string and the G string. And I'm doing... I'm doing a hammer-on with my ring finger on the D string up to the 11th fret. And here I'm uh, picking the G string 
that I'm barring here with my index finger on the 9th fret. And then I'm picking down on on, these, on, the, on the D string and the G string. And then lastly I have the index, uh, sorry, the pinky on the A string on the 12th fret. And I'm now I'm picking down all three strings. And then the last note is on the 11th fret on the A string with my ring, with my ring finger. So the whole phrase ends with three notes. Which is, this is in fact a E major triad that's inverted, so it's starting with a major third. Okay, so... That's the last part. And you can pick all notes if you like. Or hammer-ons. It just sounds a little different if you do that. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Usually it tends to sound a little more fluid if you use hammer-ons and pull-offs. A little more legato technique and not so much pick attack in the, in the sound. Okay? And the way it comes in time is like this. One, two, three, four. Let's do it a little bit slower. One, two, three, four. And there you have it. The Wind Cries Mary idea. Jimi Hendrix was a master at this kind of stuff. So check out more of of the Jimmy's playing on that song and other songs, uh, you know, he's got a lot of tunes recorded that uses where he uses this kind of technique. All right, so I hope you liked this lesson in the style of Jimi Hendrix. It's really fun to play this way, and uh, it's also not easy in the beginning. So uh, play it a lot, practice this a lot, and you'll get better at it. You know, it, it's, a, it's a kind of a playing that makes you sound very um, advanced after a while. People are impressed with people who can play this way. So enjoy this lesson and enjoy this style of playing, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.